the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Monday the 14th of March, Hollywood Bets, Gravel. We're on the poly track for eight races and uh, it's going to be a Rahil Radhakrishna that's going to be previewing the show with us. And before we touch on the field in race number one, Rahil, what type of field this card gives you? Please, I must be honest, it is a tricky card and I think uh, the pick six is going to take a bit of catching. But if you get your structure right, and I think you could be in the pound seat with a few results along the way. Yeah, no doubt. I think there'll be a few results. Well, let's get into race number one, which will start off at 12.30. It's over 1,000 meters. The field is up. And in Dhaka, I'm sure will be priced up as the top one. Trainer Carl Yutsen has three runners in the race, five, seven, and nine. And I think Nathan Cotson's yard could have something to say here with number eight, a King Spear. Keep an eye on horse number one, Jungle Junction, who was scratched on Sunday to take his place on Monday. And the dam was a six-time winner from 1,000 up to 1,200 meters for the informed stable of Allison Wright. I think the way to sum this up, if we have a look at the bipod rail, you either in the camp of Indaka or you're going to have to play it wide because he's got the form to win, but he has been a frustrating and costly horse to follow. Absolutely. He's run three seconds in his last three starts. He's just found one too good on the day and he could possibly find one too good once again in this lineup. And if he if he is that type of horse that uh, enjoys finding the number two box, I know it's not it's not nice for the connection that would like him but to he's win. Earning, he's earning good. exactly. That, that's a that's a good thing. He's paying his uh, his way through, but I'm sure at some stage you want the horse to win, and he looks to have found the perfect race for him. Um, I think uh, Yoga's governor. His stable is in some nice form. The horses are running well, so I'm sure he'll be upbeat about Indaka's chances in this lineup and. He, could, he is certainly the horse to beat, but at 14 to 10, in terms of the bipod, I think you can take a chance and possibly banker him, but I'm going to include one horse, one more horse, and that's number nine, a King's Return, who's around 14 to 1 in the market. He's run his best race over the, over the course and distance, and that was when he ran third, beaten by Guy Fox on that occasion. Now, it wasn't the strongest of races, but I think being back to the 1,000 meter trip is going to suit him a lot better. 14 to 1 offers some tremendous value. He's a horse that will go up handy. Carl Stratum will get him into a nice position. And I think that the value is certainly with horse number nine, a king's return, compared to the 14 to 10 that horse number three in darker holds. How do you see this race uh, playing out and in terms of the bipod? Yeah, the bipod, you know, I've taken a chance here. I think in Dhaka, if he does not win, I, I like your selection for second. That is my selection as well for the second spot. But uh, a number nine, a king's return, could be the pick of the Carl Hewitson's runners. And um, that run behind Guy Fox is the standout run for me. But uh, this also, uh, King Spear, just keeps me interested. Trifectors and quartets, I think, a must. He's had the two runs now for Nathan Cotson. Third run back, I think, will be spot on here to possibly put his best foot forward. And keep an eye on Raspberry Beret. I know that Sean Veal does a lot of work for Carl Hewitson. He often gets uh, the choice of ride from the stable, and she'll get a sex allowance there, number five, Raspberry Beret. But in Dhaka, I think we'll have to judge him on his recent form, not on his runs on the poly track, which was a bit earlier on in his career. He looks like the right horse on the field. Rahil suggesting that if you're not in the camp of in Dhaka, he likes number nine at King's Return as the backup for the bipod. And that's race number one. Again, a reminder, get your bets on 12.30. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Interbet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.